Well, I saved myself about 50 bucks last night. So, I, uh, last night, after a while the video was editing up and everything, uh, went outside here and uh, fixed my winch. Wasn't too, too bad of a job. Um, pretty much, pretty much had to take it all apart. Take these two top studs off with the two nuts and bolts there. Then there's two bolts on the bottom, two Allen keys on the bottom. You pop those two off, and then this piece slides off. Pull the rope out all the way out, and pretty much just get her unstuck. And well, it wasn't that easy, I can tell you that. Kind of sort of made it e sound easy, but it wasn't quite easy trying to get the rope unstuck from back. They had actually wrapped around the main gear that's in there, and I couldn't quite get it out last night. Took a little bit, but I got her going, so that's a good thing. But anyway, guys, today is Wednesday, and uh, as you can tell, we're at the shop. We got a few things going on today. We got uh, I'm gonna put put hopefully put back together this uh, push mower, the pieces that are all scattered around. Um, here's what I did. I went to AutoZone last night. Uh, I stripped the uh, old gasket off. I already showed you guys that yesterday, and pretty much just bought a little tube of our RTV silicone, high temp, and uh, pooped her all on, and seems to have uh, set up pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead, put this guy on the, mo on the uh, lawnmower today, and uh, fill her up with some oil, and we should be good to go there. You know, I've used this stuff in the past, and it just works awesome. So, should work pretty good. I clean up the surface pretty well with a little bit of brake cleaner. All my remnants of brake cleaner that I had. And, uh, yeah, should be all set, ready to go on now. Um, just going to pick up all my scattered pieces that are, like, everywhere. Probably should have did a better job doing what I did, but too late now. Um, also, I'm going to bring in my Honda Power Washer. Today, the one I got from the scrapyard a few weeks back there for 35 bucks. Score on that one. Um, I'm actually thinking about selling that thing. I don't need one that big. So, my dad... Used to uh, used to do some business with the company. Um, it's a construction company, and they're actually in the market looking for a, a commercial power washer. So I said, "Hey, I got this thing," and uh, yeah, so they might be interested in it, and they're gonna take a look at it. So on that note, I'm gonna get that thing uh, in here after once I'm done with this push mower. Start doing the carburetor on it, and I gotta put the wheels on. I got two brand new wheels for it yesterday at Harbor Freight. So we'll do that this morning or in the mid afternoon. It's about. I don't know, I think it's like 11 something or other. Let's see. Yeah, 11.21. And exactly in about an hour, <clears throat> at 12.30, I have that guy coming by to drop off that Craftsman tractor with the uh, broken mower deck. So we're going to take a look at that, see what it needs. I don't think I have a mower deck spindle for it, so if that's the case, I'm probably going to have to order one up off of Sears uh, Perch Direct there. So, I don't know. I don't think I have one up there. I think I'm all out of them. I think I've sold them to YouTubers and people on eBay and people on Craigslist. I had a, a stack of them at the, at the ending of last winter there, the winter that never came. And I literally had a stack of them. And, well, they're all gone now. Main main thing, people break. And I usually sell them for about 20 bucks, and people think it's a pretty good deal. You know? But anyway, so I'm going to get to work this morning. Uh, once that's done, bring that Honda in, and we'll take her from there. Oh yeah, save myself 50 bucks, fuck yeah. Yeah, love that kind. Also, actually, I'm saving myself a little bit more money too. This is the battery that I use to hook up in my truck for the winch. Just a regular lawn tractor battery, 275 crank amp. Well, I, uh, I'm kind of sort of upgrading. I have this Duracell or Dura Die Hard, that's what it is. Uh, this is a 340 crank amp, so it should crank her up a little better. And this is actually a brand new battery. It's only, um, I guess only like six months old or something like that. And it uh, should work pretty good. I had on the charger last night, just charging her up. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet shit. Oh yeah, getting all fancy fancy and such. Oh yeah, one last thing guys. I took a look at that F F250 last night. I actually wasn't even planning on doing it, but we cashed out drove by the guy's house last night. And um... Yeah, it needs a lot of friggin' work. I think I'll be keeping my truck for a little bit longer after seeing that thing. Um, I actually found a company that's in town that will do the uh, exhaust manifold 400 bucks, guaranteed. It gets done, and uh, I'll, I can show you guys. Hopefully the camera doesn't die. Just notice it's got low battery. I'll show you guys a couple photos of the pick-em-up truck. It needs a lot of body work. It, 
I knew it needed a new box, um, but it also needs four new doors. It kind of sounds like <laughs> the truck I have right now that I just got done doing body work on. I really don't feel like doing it again. So this is the driver's side, pretty basic. It's just a green F-250. Uh, needs a new driver's side mirror. Uh, all four doors are dented up, beaten to hell. And uh, there's the front hood of it. You know, it's got the little lights on the top, the fancy lights. There's a side view of it. Um, there's a little rust spot on the fender there. It wasn't deep or anything. Rockers seem pretty good. It's got the posi lock on the uh, tires and everything like that. Um, but it's, you know, not the greatest looking on this, the uh, back of the box. As you can see, there's the both sides of the box are crunched in and there's no bumper at all. And there's actually grass growing in the back, if you can tell. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a 2000, actually, no, it's a 2002 Ford F-250. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty beat up. Uh, he's like, no, nah, I'm going to keep my truck. <laughs> My truck's got a lot of new parts and I said fuck it, you know, I'll just fix the manifold, whatever. Anyway, so let's get to work this morning, turn up the uh, radio, get the XM going, we'll listen to Lee Bryce, A Woman Like You. Oh yeah, good song. Alright, well, the push mower's all done now, I actually uh, have this bagger for him too, I Dig the bagger and has a deal for an extra 10 bucks. So, power wash it up. I don't see any oil leaking, so we're looking pretty good. Although I did say that yesterday, and well, I completely fucked myself, but I've yet to see a single drop, and it's been sitting here for about an hour and a half now. And, uh, yeah, took her for a little test drive. Well, I didn't take her for a test drive, I just pushed it, you know. But everything checked out pretty good, so I think it's a done deal. Friggin' rights. Another job done. Time to bring in the Honda. Honda! Alright, so I've just pulled in the uh, Honda Power Wash there. I'm going to do a servicing on it today. You know, just clean the carburetor up on it because I never did it because I just got it about three weeks ago. And uh, I'm going to pop some new tires on there. But the one thing I've noticed with these Herbifree Freight tires is they always come with a 5 8 um, hole in them. The thing about 5 8 is no one really uses 5 8 anymore. It's always done by 3 quarter. So. That kind of sort of sucks. Luckily, I have uh, some bearings I keep over here, and these should work just right, I'm hoping. Actually, I should have checked that before I popped the tire off. Oh, wow, this thing's so heavy. Yeah, I'll need two hands for that. I'm sure it should fit, you know. Should be about right. Yeah, that'll work. So, we're gonna have to swap out the bearings and stuff like that on the tires like what I normally do. But, um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Also, when I was just pulling this in, we get our next victim of the week. Let's take a look at it, boys. Craftsman LT2000. Oh, yeah. So, this is our next victim of the week. Craftsman LT2000, and uh, this is what's wrong with it. Yeah, that shouldn't be like that. Or I don't think it shouldn't be. So, we're going to be doing a spindle swap out. Uh, he wants new parts, so we're going to order up new parts. Uh, probably just going to need the cast uh, the cast aluminum uh, housing, but it could possibly be that the uh, shaft on the inside could be bent. So I'll pop this off a little bit later, take a look at it, and uh, we'll order up the parts. Hopefully they'll come in either by the weekend or sometime next week sometime. But look at that little uh, tractor. And it's a pretty funny story with this thing. I actually worked on this thing years ago, actually when this thing was brand new. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, I actually did. This tractor has actually uh, been around the block a few times. I never owned the tractor, but I've done some work on it before. Uh, I actually just found this out. Um, there's a guy in town that owns an auto body shop, very well known name in the town. And uh, he came to me. I want to say maybe six, seven years ago, uh, came to me with a bad hydrostatic transmission. Yeah, I put that transmission in, and I just found out that the new owner is his cousin that actually just dropped this tractor off, and he broke the uh, mower deck spindle. Isn't that ironic, huh? 
would, you would have never known. He actually just said, uh, "Yo, yeah, you know uh, Mike Son of a Bitch there, and it owns uh, Son of a Bitch Company Auto Body." And I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." He goes, "Oh, well, I got this tractor from." Him. I was like, "Oh no shit, I've actually replaced the hydrostatic transmission because uh, friggin' he let his son do a bunch of wheelies with it and then blew out the pump right out the back end. He actually blew the uh, it was like a pressure piston something or other, and it went right through the cast aluminum. And this was years ago. That's funny. I can't believe it's actually back in the shop. <laughs> it's pretty dirty since the last time I've seen it. Really dirty. It's actually got rust on it too. Yeah. Apparently this thing's been pretty much down at the cape, I guess, for a long time. But, whatever. We'll get her fixed up. No problem at all. Ooh, I like that keychain. It's a pretty cool keychain. Powered by diehard battery. Yeah, that's a cool keychain. I'm gonna need to steal that. Oh yeah. So that's what we got going on, guys. Stuff is a rolling in. Still no leaks. No leaks. Awesome. All right, time to work on a Honda. Let's do a piece of Japan. All right, so I got a good one for you. So uh, I'm over here making this handle for that Honda power washer there and remember a few weeks back I've, I've been looking for my keys I couldn't find my keys anywhere well I think I just found them yeah I'm over here setting up the drill press getting ready to drill some holes for the bottom plate that I'm gonna weld up and uh, I just went to go turn this and it wouldn't turn I was like w w what the hell and I look up in there and uh, yeah found my keys friggin I knew I put them somewhere Yep, and now it's intermingled with the belt. That's good. That is good. I know I put the keys someplace. Oh, look, there, there's the other keys. That's the keys for my toolbox that I had to hack open. And what else I got in here? Oh, there's the other pair of snowmobile keys, a spare set. And, uh, oh, look at that. There's, this is probably PJ's keys, I bet, that I didn't want to hack open yet. Look at that, look at, look at that. Un unbelievable. Figures. Son of a bitch. All right, so uh, there's a look I'm kind of sort of going for here. It's not fully finished, it's just tacked in and stuff like that. Um, pretty much just like a lawn tractor, shift a handle off of a Craftsman hydrostatic. Yeah. And uh, get the pole that comes down, then there's going to be this gusset here. And then there'll be another one on this side, and there'll also be another one on the inside that goes an angle across. Then there's this bottom plate here. Uh, there's the main bottom plate, and then there's this piece here that's bent over and onto there. And uh, that should get reinforced onto them two bolts that are right there. I'm going to get some big washers at the Home Depot. I actually just ran out of welding wire, so i got to go there now. Um, I'll probably cut up a small little piece of metal for the top here just to cover it over and make it look a little pretty. And uh should be a done deal. Just gotta square everything up. I mean, like I said, it's just it's just tacked right now. Still a little wampus. But um should be pretty good. Should work well. I mean it's not the thickest steel in the world, but it's a little bit thicker than what they would have used on a regular power washer, you know. It's just box tubing. Kinda tinny, but It'll work. Good enough. It's just what I had kicking around underneath the deck, you know. So, if I had uh, some of that bed frame steel, I'd probably use some of that because that stuff's spring steel, but I don't have any bed frame stuff, so. This is all I got. This actually came off of a Bowflex gym equipment thing I chopped up a couple months ago at the beginning of the summer, so. This should work out pretty well. I think it'll look pretty good. Oh, yeah. You ever have one of those days where something is just completely against you, where something just does not want to work? Yeah, I'm having that kind of day today. And it started with my welder. Yeah. So, I ran out of uh, welding wire. And uh, I was like, alright, no big deal. And my dad was on his way to Home Depot. I said, hey, can you pick me up a thing of welding wire? He says, uh, what do you need? I said, uh, .30 flux coil wire. He comes back with copper wire made for a regular welder. So I was like, oh great, now we gotta go back to Home Depot, return that, and get the good stuff. 
So I'll go ahead and get the uh, the good stuff here and put her in and then then it stops. I'm like, well, wait a minute, what the fuck? So I jab it a few times and I break off a few pieces here and there as you can see on the floor. And then it finally starts creeping along, creeping along and then it stops to about right here. It's like, what the fuck? You know, so I back it all off and do it again. By this time I've already got the entire gun taken apart and I'm getting ready to friggin' hum it out the damn window. So I go ahead and do that and, uh, you know, take her apart and it's still jammed. So now it's, you know, I got her all the way up to like that, I'd say right about, right about somewhere in this area here. And, uh, then I take her all out again, re-spool it, and now it's stuck somewhere in here. So I'm like, what the fuck? You know, it's taken me already 20 minutes to try and figure this thing out. And now it's stuck over here. It's like, this isn't working. Everything's against me to work and... I've already got pissed off the thing. I've already kicked the thing once. I already got a boot dead into the grill here. You know? Fucking. So, I don't know why, but my nose keeps on running for the day. I'm all stuffed up. You know? It's like, jeez. Freaking pieces of shit. So, I got all pissed off. I kicked the thing, and I went in the house, and I went on Craigslist, and I found a welder. Found a Lincoln Electric welder, gas welder. I'm going up all the way to freaking Fitchburg tonight, and that's an hour and a half ride for me. Just to friggin' buy a welder. A good, decent welder tonight. I'm getting tired of this Chinese bullshit. Same deal like the winch. It'd be like the same deal with the welder. I know I have the insurance on it. It's registered. They're just gonna whine, complain, and go on about the fucking welder. So, my new plan of a tactic is I'm just gonna friggin' return the welder under insurance. Not even gonna get insurance on the new welder. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just sell the damn thing on Craigslist. Hopefully I get 80 bucks for it, if that, if I'm lucky, you know. It's a good thing I only paid like $60 for the welder back then, or I think I paid $80 for it. I had a super coupon back two years ago, or, yeah, it's about two years ago. Fucking unbelievable. So I'm going up to Fitchburg tonight. I'm going to buy me a new welder. It's a Lincoln Electric welder, gas welder. It does flux core and gas. Uh, he's giving me an auto darkening helmet. Uh, he's giving me the whole works. Uh, it's got a nice little cart. Um, I don't remember what it is. I know it's the Lincoln Electric something or other, and it's way the fuck up there. So, yeah. And he said he won't be home till around six. Gorgeous traffic time. So, I guess this project is on hold until either tonight or tomorrow, which fucking blows because I really want to get this thing done. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I guess I can put the oil in and do the carburetor, but um. Yeah, so, fuck it, I'm going out buying a good welder. I'm getting tired of this bullshit, and maybe once I have my good welder, I can weld those exhaust pipes up for the Zero T800 and never have to freaking worry about me getting pissed off at a damn Harbor Freight welder because it's just not worth it anymore. What's this, going to be like the sixth welder within about a year? Come on, we just can't. So, I'm done with this thing. I don't even want to look at it anymore. I'm going outside to go work on a Craftsman LT2000 that I have to get mower deck spindle from. That should be fun. Gotta figure out if the shaft's broken or what the deal is. I already know the housing is broken. So it shouldn't be too too bad. I hope. Oh, so stuffed up. I don't know what the deal is. So, it should be fun. Yeah. I can tell you right now, I don't think this deck's ever came off before. Because these pins are stuck a little bit. Yep, this is going to be good. Rusted up pins on a rusted up Craftsman. Oh yeah. Got a good little motor in it though. Oh, some shit's just against you in one day. Did get some mulch though. Got a couple bags of mulch. Just going to spread that around the tree over there, you know. Make her look pretty. What else I got going on? I think that's it. I think that's it. So... I guess I'll get back to you in a little bit, maybe once I get the mower deck done, or I get this stupid thing done. Or when I'm getting ready to hum this thing out of the friggin' window and uh, drop her off of a cliff and then try and run over it. Yeah, that'd make a pretty good video, huh? Harbor Freight versus F-150. There you go. Alright, so I figured I'd give the last little update of the day here. Uh, I just got done doing the rest of the mechanical work on this thing. Only thing is, I gotta get a new carb gasket for the bottom. It leaks. Kind of sort of figured that, you know, pretty common. 
But, um, man, that car was really dirty. I can't believe this thing was even running. So I got that all straightened out. Uh, I got to get a new air filter for it. Pop the box off finally. The screw was kind of sort of seized up when I got it. But, uh, zip it off real quick. I'll show you guys. We got to get a little bit of an air filter. And I got to get into the, uh, the governor. And, uh, get a little bit of penetrating fluid in there. It's just a little rusty in there. Clean that up. No big deal. So, not bad, not bad. Not bad for a $35 fine, I guess. You know. So, I'm thinking a ballpark range of $350 to $400 would sell for this thing. I watched a motor, same exact motor as this thing, sell on eBay for $330. So, I think that's a pretty fair price considering what the motor sold for. You know, I'll paint up the... Uh, Exhaust shroud here with a little bit of heat paint just to clean that up make it look a little better than what it is, you know Rusted black rusted black, you know what I'm saying Definitely calm down since the whole freaking welder situation. I was getting ready to drag that thing behind the back of my pickup truck As for this guy pop the deck off um, Yep, definitely got to get a new uh, mandrel for it. So I'm gonna order one of those up tonight um so bearings seem pretty good, but I think the new mandrel is going to come with new bearings anyway. So that's no big deal. I'll zip those off when the bearing comes in, but check a look at this. Look at that grass clump right there. Holy. Yummy. I smell dinner. Want some cabbage? Anyway. So I guess that's about it. I guess we're going to end the video here. Hopefully tomorrow we have a uh, nice and shiny new welder for me to play around with. Get some uh, argon gas and uh, have some fun with that. Finish welding up this stupid thing. That's all I want to do today was just get the power washer set, ready to go. All I had to do was just order the uh, parts for it. And no, 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 we're going to be on another day. Yay, it's like that freaking Toro push mower. Luckily the guy came and picked that up. So that's pretty good. So that's out of here. And uh, yeah, can't believe it's only Wednesday. Feels like friggin' Friday. Holy. Unbelievable. Nice day out though. Really nice day out. Oh, it's loud in sight. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then, don't get pissed off at your welder. Actually, I take that back. If it's a Harbor Freight welder, kick the living shit out of it. Talk to you guys on tomorrow.
Deus.